It was recently announced that Travis Kalanick has severed all ties with Uber, departing the board and selling all of his shares. He will step down from the board effective December 31st and he has sold all of his stock in the company that he co-founded 10 years ago. His stake was worth around $2.8 billion. Kalanick was ousted as CEO in 2017 over some incidents and concerns that he fostered an unhealthy culture at the company. However, he was still on the board until now. In true tech bubble style, Kalanick has systematically been selling his stake in Uber since the company's stock lockup period expired last month. This comes as Uber's restriction on the sale of stock for private investors and employees expired six months after the company's IPO. Since then, Kalnick has been focused on his next play called Cloud Kitchens. Cloud Kitchens is a startup focused on picking up cheap properties and turning them into restaurant operations without a counter, seating or walk-in service, designed exclusively to fill demand for courier-based restaurant delivery apps. Here is a primer on that. Americans spent $10 billion on food delivery services last year, and restaurants large and small are looking to cash in by using extra kitchen capacity to service delivery. These virtual kitchens are run out of existing restaurant kitchens. There are also ghost kitchens, which are standalone centers. Both serve the growing online delivery category. Now, Kalnick is interested in this concept of ghost kitchens, commercial cooking spaces optimized for food delivery. The idea is to offer delivery-only eateries cooking spaces designed to operate with relatively little risk or investment compared to traditional dining establishments. Data from Morningstar finds ghost and virtual kitchens can utilize anywhere between 10 and 50% of the square footage, require 15 to 50% of labor depending on program structuring, and generate 75% to 100% of the transactions of a traditional restaurant operating in the same category. Uber Eats has 4,000 virtual restaurants globally, which it says are boosting companies' sales. Uber Eats handles the tech components on its app. And although this business model isn't particularly popular yet in the US or Europe, it is big in China. China's online food ordering and delivery market hit $62 billion in 2018 and is expected to more than double by 2021. In fact, the market cap of Chinese food delivery platform Mituan Dian Ping recently surpassed that of search giant Baidu. One of the reasons for the success of shared kitchens is the fact that they allow restaurants to expand their reach without shouldering all the overhead costs associated with opening their own kitchens. And there are some who are bullish on Kalnick's ability to execute as an entrepreneur. Uh, whatever you think of Travis Kalanick, he's, he's a really interesting entrepreneur, and so I think he's more interested in doing his next thing. Um, he's had lots of companies. You forget he had several companies before Uber, um, and I'm sure he'll have several companies after. And so, uh, you know, I don't think it's, it's unusual for a founder to leave, but he's actually not the, he's one of the founders. Uh, uh, others remain on the board. Um, and uh, I think the issues around Uber are around execution now, not necessarily vision. So you think he's coming back? You like the oh. idea that he's, this is not over? Oh, it is, it is just begun. And he is, he is doing the classic Sun Tzu playbook. Travis's new business, Cloud Kitchens, people aren't talking about it. It's not on the radar at all. It's not, it's not hyped, and, and that's by design. Travis is actually building a business that is focused on capturing the differentiated supply for Uber Eats, actually producing the food for Uber Eats, which is the fastest growing part of the Uber business. In their S1, right. Uber really called out the Uber Eats business as being a bright spot. It's about 22% of their bookings today, growing extremely fast. I think over 10 years, Travis could actually uh, own the one differentiated value layer of the entire okay, but so you're delivery not, space. You're not, then you're not buying into my more conspiratorial view that somehow Travis is going to come back to eventually run Uber. Oh, he might do both. They're not mutually exclusive. But I, but I think you, one thing you always want to do is you have an exceptionally talented entrepreneur uh, who has a lot of vengeance. You take uh, uh, anger management. Uh, I mean, I have, I, I've, done some, I've done some therapy. You always want to bet on that person. Vengeance is just a phenomenal motivator in business. I will, I will invest in someone with tremendous vengeance any day of the week. Okay, and just to be clear on what you're saying here is he realizes that Uber Eats is essentially this capital-burning tool for the kitchens 
to, to essentially make Absolutely. Margin. Look at Domino's Pizza. It's $11 billion market cap. McDonald's, $125 billion market cap company. Cloud Kitchens could, you know, 10 years from now be a, be a bigger company than that. 3x the market cap of Uber. Uh, and then you might also do this activist crazy oh, thing. Okay, but hold on. Let me, let me. So it will be interesting to see how this plays out, both for Uber and his next venture, Cloud Kitchens. What are your thoughts for Uber and Cloud Kitchens? Let me know in the comments. And for more compounded, valuable content, subscribe and like.